Another library option to find EBP is JBI EBP database. It was also known as the Joanna Briggs Institute Evidence-Based Practice Database. This is a little shorter. So the way that you can filter within JBI, there's a couple different ways, and I'm going to show you that. So we're going to go to that A to Z database list and go to JBI and get started. Okay, we're at the A to Z database list. I'm going to do control F and search for JBI. So JBI EBP database, we're going to click on this. This is from Ovid. So if you're familiar with other Ovid databases like Medline, you're going to feel right at home. So there are ways that you can limit your search before you even start. So let's just say I wanted to look at multiple of sclerosis and then I wanted to select the kind of publication type. So if I, let's say I want to just look at recommended practices and then I click search, What's going to happen is that it's going to look like something hasn't changed, but what you need to do is scroll up. So when you scroll up, it's going to show you how many results that you got. So in this case, I got five because it's limit to recommended practices. So I only asked to find those recommended practices. And so then if I scroll down, this is where I'm going to see those five results. So let's say though that I do my search and I don't select the kind of publication type. So I just do multiple sclerosis. I don't select a publication type. I just do search then. So then if I scroll up, I'm going to see that when I do that across all of the subjects and just searching multiple sclerosis, I'm getting 85 results. So that's definitely a difference. And so because I didn't select that kind of specific kind of publication type. So 85 is still a fairly reasonable number, but if I scroll down, so I'm going past that search area and now I'm going into the records themselves, I can filter at this point if I'm looking for a specific kind of article. So I can go filter by and underneath the years, it's author, journal, and then publication type. So right now, all types are selected, which is how I got to that 85. So then if I click, let's say, systematic reviews. Now, if I scroll up, it's not going to necessarily show that it is filtered to a smaller pool of results. So if I keep scrolling down, though, how I am going to tell, though, is that the numbers are going to look a little funny. So it'll say 2, and then it'll say 19. And that's because it has filtered out those other option and is only showing the systematic reviews now. So again, this is just a quirk of Ovid and Joanna Briggs where it's the way that it shows the results are a little different. Still a great place to go, still a great place to find research.